guys welcome back to my channel this is just gonna be a real quick little video um, <clears throat> because I wanted to show you my latest creation which is a ephemera holder that I made yesterday and um, yeah it, it was more like a test because I did a few things that I haven't done before for example using uh, this closure and then also uh, this paper so as you can see it's not perfect um, I had this I didn't have the fabric on the back um, but then I saw that at the fold this paper started uh, tearing a little bit you can tell right here um, so I decided I'm going to put the fabric over it and then when I wanted to tear it instead of cut it here it tore a little too far up here so I mean this is just going to hold some of my ephemera it doesn't really matter to me I just wanted to share with you guys and then I finally was able to use one of these book plates because I have a ton of them and I always thought they're so small so I never used them but I thought it looks really nice on here um, as I said I have one of these closures here it's like a little doorknob and on the back side I have a eyelet and I just um, I was gonna do like a rubber band or like like an elastic for hair but I didn't have any that were not too thick so I just used some crinkled seam binding and tie a knot and because I know <clears throat> this will never get super fat because it's not like a journal where you add and add and add more stuff this is just gonna have these few pages and then uh, some ephemera anyway so when you open it uh, I have three signatures and they are actually folded uh, scrapbook paper and then I made a hinge between uh, each opposite sides and then I sewed that in I don't know if you can can see it here and then I uh, have like a quarter inch I think in between so the next one and then the next one and this is really sturdy because it's double-sided like I folded the, the um, scrap of paper in half and then I sewed my um, pockets on there and I love it I'm so so excited about this and I think I am going to make a bunch more maybe for my Etsy shop uh, but yeah I have to figure out a better better way to cover the spine on the inside and the outside I uh, didn't use the right glue for this Usually I spray, you spray adhesive or uh, my art glitter glue, um, but I didn't have, like I couldn't go outside because with a snowstorm and I, I'm almost out of my art glitter glue. So I had to use some of my fabric tag, which usually is fine, but in here, like with this fabric, you can see through, like it, it sometimes bleeds through. So not too happy about that. But like I said, this is just a... It was just a test and this is actually one and the same um oh where did i put them embroidery floss uh i bought these at walmart because i was like oh nice colors but i didn't realize that i thought they were like different strands but it's just a, one continuing uh, one that changes color but i thought that's really neat so you have different colors here even though it's the same same one yeah, so I started filling this with my transparent stickers, um, like florals, and then I have a ton of butterflies, but um, I haven't added them all yet, but these are really nice because you can see through. Um, it doesn't tear, and you can see what's in here. Yep, so this is my latest creation. I am so excited about this and I love this paper well let me know what you think in the comments below and give my video a thumbs up I know it's annoying when people ask for that but there is like the the YouTube algorithm completely ignores your video if you don't have any have any likes so oh well 
I really appreciate it if you do, and if you don't, that's okay too. So I will talk to you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Bye.